a seat or a comfortable spot that you can see either way. On behalf of Southern Illinois University Edwardsville and our Department of Intercollegiate Athletics, I would like to welcome all of our staff, our friends of Cougar Athletics, our distinguished guests, and certainly Beth and the Hall family as we welcome you to our press conference for our seventh full-time athletic director here at SIUE, Tim Hall. I don't want to waste any time. I'd like to bring to the podium first our chancellor at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, Dr. Randy Pembroke. Well, thank you, Joe. I often say that uh, the best part of my job is that I get to welcome people and say thank you. So I'm going to start off by saying thank you for being here today. Uh, it's great to see so much interest and excitement about SIUE athletics. I also want to thank some uh, specific people uh, to kick this off. And these were people that were involved with the search process. So uh, Katie Zing and Bill Rensloff chaired that uh, process. Are they here today? I see Bill, I see Katie. Thank you. If you were a member of the search committee served on uh, that team, could you wave your hand and we'll say thank you to you too. There were a number of people uh, in our community that also uh, took part in the process and interacted with our candidates. If you're a community member and did that, yeah, okay, thank you very much. We appreciate that. And I also want to say on behalf of the trustees, uh, thank you for all of their support and their interest in SIUE athletics. Well, you probably all know the old Chinese proverb that says a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And I was thinking about the steps in SIUE Athletics uh, for today. Uh, we started as a very successful uh, Division II program, saw a lot of great things happen with conference and national titles. And then we took another step and moved to Division I with the support and advocacy of uh, former Chancellor Vaughn Vandergrift and former Athletic Director Brad Hewitt. And then we took another step and became members of the OVC and the MAC. And then a couple of years ago, we took another step and we were in the top 100 in the Learfield Cup, uh, which relates to postseason play and participation. And so now we take another step, a very important step, a new era, if you would, with Tim Hall as our new AD. So exciting times are on the way. I want to thank Tim and his family for their interest in SIUE in Madison County, Midwest, the Metro East, St. Louis MSA, Location, location, location. So welcome, and it's great to have you here. Uh, I also want to say thank you uh, for some very special people recognizing them for being here. First of all, our friends in the media, thank you for being here today and participating. I also want to thank uh, Frank Viverito and Mark Schreiber from the St. Louis Sports Commission. Let's give them a round of applause and thanks for being here. So uh, officially, I want to welcome Tim and his wife Beth and their family, including their children Aiden, Aislinn, Donovan, and Landon. Good to have you guys here. As you probably know, Tim is an experienced AD at the Division I level. Uh, he was AD at UMKC, University of Missouri, Kansas City, where I had a chance to uh, get to know him and our paths crossed. He recently was at UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and you probably know that story, the number 16 upset of number one Virginia in NCAA men's tournament a year ago. And now he's at SIUE. And I was thinking, the guy just loves schools with four letter names, right? Uh, so the tradition continues. He has had great success, both in terms of athletics and with uh, student academic success. And that's really important in SIUE, where we expect our student athletes to do well on the field and in the classroom. He's also been a very successful fundraiser, and I look forward to working with Tim and the community to improve our facilities. Uh, if you're an SIUE supporter or you want to be an SIUE supporter, you'll be hearing from us very soon. Uh, today is a special day, as I mentioned, and I was thinking about it, and specifically thinking about the number eight, right? Today is August 8th, 8-8, eight, eight, and it's the year 19, so one minus nine is eight. And I was thinking, there's something kind of interesting going on with that number today, right? So I think it's an omen. 
So I don't know if that means we're going to win eight OVC MAC titles this year, <laughs> or maybe it means we win every game or match by eight. Uh, I hope it doesn't mean we're going to finish eighth uh, or start out eight and eight with all of our teams. But then I start thinking about it, eight, eight, eight men's teams at SIUE, eight women's teams at SIUE, and I know that all of them are going to do very well under Tim's leadership. So Tim, I'm excited about your presence at SIUE and we want to officially welcome you here. I think we have some things to give you to kind of uh, get the official SIUE bling started. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Pembroke. Good afternoon, everybody. I uh, am honored and humbled to serve as, and I put here the eighth, but I guess I was told it was the seventh director of athletics in the history of SIUE athletics. At uh, the risk of being somewhat redundant, I'm going to thank some people as well, as I know for Dr. Pembroke, these people played a crucial role in the search, and I feel they did as well, and so I'm going to go through those thank yous uh, very quickly here. To Dr. Pembroke, thank you very much for your um, interest and confidence in my abilities. To the search committee, the co-chairs, Dr. Bill Retzliff and Katie Zing, thank you for the work that you did, and all the other search committee members, and I know many in this room have probably served on a search committee, and we all know that to do it right, it takes a lot of time a lot of energy and a lot of effort. So for those of you who served, thank you. Also a debt of gratitude to the Acting Director of Athletics, Jackie DeClue. It was one other uh, list of opportunities and challenges put on the plate for a brief time, and it's clear to me after we sat down and visited that she handled it in a, in a first class manner, and so thank you to, to Jackie. To everybody in the university and extended community, who has shown not only myself but our family a lot of what I will call love and support in our brief time in Edwardsville. And as an aside, I will share with you that we have a healthy debate going on in the Hall household over which custard place is better, Bobby's or Annie's. <laughs> and, and, and so I, I, I think that shows that we have, we're acclimating to the community nicely. I would like to thank my family, certainly, I tell people all the time, this is not a career, this is not a job, maybe not even a, a, a profession, but if you work in education and leading young people, it's really a vocation. And it's a lifestyle and my family plays a big part in that. So thank you to my lovely wife Beth and my kids who play such a big role in the success that I've been able to have. I'd also like to say thank you to Dr. Brad Hewitt for the work that he did making a solid foundation and paving the way for the increased success that I think that we're going to have. And so a debt of gratitude certainly to Brad as he moves into the next phase of his life to enjoy retirement. And then finally, I'd like to thank the folks at UMBC where I was leaving. It's a great institution. We had a tremendous amount of success there and I wish them the best in their future endeavors. But as uh, Dr. Pembroke said, we are excited here to be Cougars today. When I interviewed, I was asked a question that I'm sure many of you in here might have on your mind as well. Why SIUE for, for Tim Hall? And there's a couple really good reasons. I think the first is looking at myself as an educator and handling the work that I do as a, an educator and being that at heart, the strong value of the SIU degree was really the first uh, item that I looked at to say from the humanities, arts and sciences, from uh, professional schools to STEM. There is a full complement of degree options here. Tremendous teaching and learning and research going on at this institution and I certainly did want to be part of that. Another thing that was attractive to me about SIUE is this notion, and some of you had heard me talk about this already, is that here at this institution, success in academics and in athletics do not have to be mutually exclusive. 
you can have both. We can have scholar athletes. We have some, we're gonna have more. And so it's not a situation like at some schools where you can have one or the other. Here, you can have both, and that was attractive to me. And as I mentioned, Brad left a really good foundation in place in many, many ways. And so there is a great launching pad for us to continue to do good work. The vibrant community of the Edwardsville and Metro East area was also attractive. I knew a little bit about it from my time in Kansas City and when I would make trips to this region to visit with uh, alumni and donors of, of UMKC, I got to know it a little bit. And it reminded us a lot of the area that we grew up in, my wife and I, in Northeast Ohio. And that was something that was attractive to us for sure. The fact that SIUE is a very relational place, strong relationships between people from the academic side to the um, staff side, athletics, students, student athletes, being in a community, in a college setting, I think is important. And it's clear by this turnout today that this is a community in a college setting. And then last and not least, Dr. Pembroke mentioned that we spent some time together in Kansas City, and I really believe in the vision that he and the Board of Trustees have for this institution and specifically for athletics. And so again, humbled to have the opportunity to build this athletics program as we move forward. In terms of a vision, where do I want our athletic program to go? I'd like to create a regionally prominent and nationally respected best practices intercollegiate athletics program, one committed to academic success and student athlete well-being, one that competes for and attempts to win conference championships, OVC and MAC, while engaging all stakeholders to a higher level of involvement with SIUE and SIUE athletics. And let me just share a few of the things that I think we're going to work on uh, during my first couple months and, uh, and, and year here. We're going to be known for having a national reputation for service to our student athletes with diversity and inclusion at the forefront. We are all educators, our student athletes are the center of our bullseye, it's why we're here. Athletics is going to continue to be an integral part of the SIUE campus culture, the greater service region and beyond. SIU student athletes will, SIUE, I'm sorry, student athletes will continue to graduate at a high level and form a strong sense of connection with the institution and the athletic department. We're going to have pride in who we are. We're not going to spend time lamenting on who we're not. So often in life, we, we spend time talking about what we wish we were or what we wish we had. We're not going to do that here. This is a special place with special people, and we're going to have a lot of pride in who we are and where we're going. And then we're going to really stand for what's right in intercollegiate athletics. When people say, who does mid-major Division I athletics the right way? I want them to say SIUE athletics. And so just a few principles that will guide this work as we move forward. We're going to deliver on that best practices student athlete experience. That's a commitment we make to our young people through our coaches and we're going to deliver on that. We are going to win championships and we're going to educate the future leaders of tomorrow. And if these student athletes that are here and your colleagues walk across the stage and just get a degree but are not prepared to go on to be one of the future leaders of our society, then we failed you. We're going to make sure that we are preparing you to get a job or go to graduate school within 18 months, hopefully outside of your time here as an undergraduate, so that you can go on and be one of the future leaders of our society. We're going to know and adhere to all NCAA university and conference rules. We're going to have a, compl a, conscious, a compliance conscience. We're going to engage in all of our activities fairly, honorably, and with the highest level of civility. We're going to maintain strict financial integrity and responsibility, 
and we're going to be great stewards of the resources that are given to us from the institution, from donors, and other external partners. And then again, like I said, we're going to attempt to win and compete for championships in all of the sports that we sponsor. And then finally, what we do here is a privilege. And we talk to student athletes all the time about you don't have necessarily a right to be a student athlete. It's a privilege because a coach identified you as somebody who as a student and an athlete brings to the table to the university a skill set that is going to be mutually beneficial to both parties. So the Cougars logo never comes off and we're going to represent the institution in a positive fashion at all times. And then the last thing in closing that I would like to share is something that I call the notion of a consensus orientation and a culture of collaboration. A notion of consensus orientation and a culture of collaboration. And why I said it twice is because I think that through my leadership and the leadership of the great people here, we're going to talk about a lot about getting to consensus. We're going to be oriented that way, and we're going to work in a culture of collaboration. And I'm going to share one brief story that I hope articulates that. And it comes from a book that I just read recently called The Gift of Struggle, Life-Changing Lessons About Struggle by a gentleman named Bobby Herrera, who is the CEO of a company called The Populist Group. And, this, and in the story, Bobby talks about coming home from work one evening and he saw that his daughter had pushed all of her toys into the middle of the family room. So those of you that have children or grandchildren, you know that well. And the two brothers who initially were maybe attempting to be antagonists were trying to get around the toys and giving uh, ideas of what she might be able to do with those toys, not in a productive and helpful way, but maybe in a critical way. And so he talks about seeing his sons not having any success with that methodology of being critical to one of them leaving and going into her room and bringing a toy out and saying, what if we took this toy and we placed it here? And then another, the other son went in and grabbed a toy and said, what if we move that toy over here? Or how would you feel about? The reason that struck me is I think sometimes we get too interested in our own piles and we don't want to have help from those on the outside. And I want you to know, university and more broad community, that athletics is going to be a full partner with you in the work that we do and we achieve together. And it's going to be done, and I'll say this as the last thing in closing, and I think that this resonates with me more than anything and I'm going to date myself by saying this. Most people know the song, My Way, that was written by, or I'm sorry, sung by Frank Sinatra. What many people don't know is Frank Sinatra didn't write that song. Paul Anka wrote that song. So almost never do we do it my way. We always need help and collaboration and I think all of us working together, we're going to do it our way, the Cougar way. I'm excited to be here. I think uh, there's tremendous things on the horizon, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Thank you. I would like to uh, give some time for a couple of questions for Tim. If you have a question, um, we will be able to address some of those. We'll have some time as well for our media members uh, to do a one-on-one. -on -one. So if it's something you'd rather do there, we could do that as well. So if there are questions, anyone? Yes, Steve Porter. Uh, Lynn, uh, Jim, what do you see as the uh, greatest strengths and greatest needs of the Cougars? Uh, and what do you see as the uh, greatest strengths of Well, I think the greatest strengths, there's, there's a number of them. Um, and I, and I don't want to contradict myself when, when I say one thing and, and then another. I, I think the greatest strength at this institution is the people. And I've come to learn over the course of my career in, in leadership 
is that I'll take people over things any day. Now, this is where the, the contradiction might come in. I think we need some things to be able to put our student athletes and our coaches in a better position to be successful. And, and, and whether that's facility enhancement, whether that's facility in, um, construction, uh, it could be increasing operating budgets, giving coaches uh, a, a better opportunity to, to go out and, and visit with more potential recruits to get the best and the brightest student athlete. Um, so uh, there's a, the region that we're in, I think, is a, is a very strong region uh, from which to recruit potential student athletes. Some challenges that I think we have, I, I've mentioned. There's resource challenges, there's some facility challenges, but I think there's tremendous opportunity. And when I did my interview here, it was a, a day and a half, but it was over three days. And I walked away from my first session with individuals in the community saying, you know, we're going to be great stewards, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, with everybody's resources, certainly the universities. But that margin of excellence for us is going to come from alumni and friends and corporations saying yes to SIUE athletics. That's going to be the margin of excellence. And when we talked about that at that dinner, I didn't get a sense at all from anybody that people weren't on board. What I think they want to see is what's the vision? Where, where are we going with this athletic de department and these programs? And that's what's going to be a really exciting opportunity and challenge for us to go down that road together and, and build that vision collectively. Other questions? Okay. So thank Any you again, and we will allow uh, the media, if uh, Charlie, if you want to go back to that, to our other backdrop, we can do a one-on-one -on -one there. Uh, any of our writers, we can do a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, wherever it's comfortable for you. Thank you all for attending. Uh, thank you for being here. There are some refreshments in the back. Please help yourself. Uh, we appreciate your support and continued support of SIUE Athletics and certainly helping us to welcome Tim Hall to Cougar Athletics. Thank you.